I think we have uh, come to a subject that everybody likes to uh, learn. All the immigrants come to this country are all look like, look for this thing. <coughs> um, this, is my, this is a very common Chinese colloquial or saying, <coughs> An Chi Lo Ye, peace living, joy working. Happy, a work, you're happy, get life, daily life, you're at peace. This is everybody look for, everybody like it. All day long, all life long. Peace living, joy working. <coughs> Today we come to a Bible secret. There's a Bible secret that we have to learn in order to acquire or have this kind of life. One little hint tells us why NIV Bible is Satan's masterpiece. This is one thing we have to recognize. Know which is God's teaching, which is not. The most obvious one is change the word flesh into sinful nature. If you study these three words, fresh and sinful nature, there is a lot different. Human has a bad inclination. They will love to blame the other party. Uh, they do it, he did it, he did it, okay? Other people do it. And this one comes up the best reason. It is sinful nature that they do it. It's nature, see that? You blame nature, blame sinful nature. So what I do, I cannot help it. Therefore, I should not be blamed because I'm a victim also. Sinful nature, make me do it. I'm not at wrong. Sinful nature is very obvious. This is Satan's masterpiece. This is the most obvious one. Change flesh into sinful nature. Therefore, the scripture over here is <coughs> they have a different way of understanding. The one who sows to please his sinful nature, you see, you blame nature. Like in America or over the world, everywhere, when you have nature, they can blame. From that nature will reap destruction. The one who sows please the spirit. We know the spirit from 1 John chapter 5 verse 6. The spirit is the truth in the Bible. From the spirit will reap eternal life. So if you live according to the feeling of your body, your flesh, you will go to hell. Simple expression in our today language. If you live according to what says in the Bible, the truth, but you have to interpret and know what is really true. That's why I have a feeling, I have to tell you, NIV Bible is not one you don't want to depend on because it says if you live According to what says in the Bible, New Testament Bible, you will have eternal life. Of course, New Testament Bible, some of them may not good to hear or hard to hear. When Jesus at one time, he said, whoever eat my flesh, drink my blood, have eternal life. When people, disciples around him, heard that, they said, this is a hard hearing, very hard to hear. How can anybody eat his flesh and drink his blood? They do not understand at that time. But nowadays, we know that. We know exactly what that means. Like, we just mostly help us to do the Lord's Supper. Drink and eat the bread and drink the blood. 
you see, the body and the blood. Those who are in the church of Christ, they eat the flesh and eat and drink the blood. They have eternal life. Okay? God make it easy to understand for us, not for everybody else. Okay? They may want to know, but they have no, no way to know. Okay, live by the Bible too, have eternal life. Live according to the feeling of their flesh, they will go to hell. Our today expression. Put wrong in the number two, put wrong in the place of evil. Wrong and evil is a lot different. You lighten the seriousness, okay, the nature is a wrong thing, not evil. They, they have uh, the wrong and evil is a lot different. Now we pray to God that you do no evil, the word evil, ASV. Now we have prayed, we, now we prayed, we pray to God that you will not do anything wrong, you see, NIV, this is ASV. No evil. You see, evil, wrong. Okay, I'm just showing you we have to live according to the truth recorded in the New Testament Bible. But watch out, not NIV Bible. That's why I put this up in the first place. So be careful because NIV Bible is master, masterpiece of the devil. Okay, don't take my word for it, because I'm Chinese, I'm inefficient, I'm not famous. David Martin, Solid Rock Baptist Church in Memphis, he published that too, okay? This would lighten the seriousness, serious nature. This is against the truth, that's what against the truth means. Not that we may appear approved, but you may do that is honorable. This word honorable actually is righteous. Okay, righteousness. Though we be seen as reprobate, you see, people can look down on us or brush away. We, <coughs> for we cannot do anything against the truth. Only for the truth. I search in this script, in this Bible dictionary. I always show this. So if people watch on my uh, video, they can enlarge and see what is and buy this for uh, eBay. We cannot do anything against the truth. Uh, the word against and for the truth. The word for is not simply because. We have, we use the word for, usually is because, the meaning, but here, not exactly. Here he says, against, that means what? Light turn it up. What does that mean then? When God tells us to do something, we do it gradually, or do it not carefully, okay? <coughs> like mother asked me to do something, I don't like it. But gradually, I do the minimum that I can to fulfill his or uh, her instruction. Okay? Just minimum. Think like that. That's what they mean. Not exactly the way my mother wants me to do it. I just don't want to look like I disobey. I just do it in a way that I can get by. I am doing what she said, but intentionally it is not. He is doing his way to make it pass, look like he is obeying the instruction. That's what against me. Only for the truth, what is for me? But here it says, somehow I am very surprised. How do I have this kind of feeling I want to do this? Then I find out, actually, this four means what? Make sure the truth is practiced. Everybody understand? 
hey, listen, listen to me very carefully. Make sure that you practice exactly what the truth says. That's that for me. I do my share, you do your share. Everywhere do the same thing to make sure this truth get to practice, to fulfill, do exactly what it says. Understand now? I never would think about things like this. Just four. I just oh four. Four the two. That's what exactly what that means. You and I have the responsibility to make sure this true practice fulfill. Everybody do what it says. Exactly what it says. Okay? This is very important. We are talking about peace living, joy working. And that we have to pay attention. It is how much you put in your work, how much blessing you will get. Main scripture for this study, 2 Corinthians 13, 7-8. Now we pray to God that you do no evil, the word evil, okay? Not that we may appear approved. Of course, this is the way Apostle Paul humbly express his writing, okay? Don't think that we are thinking ourselves. There's no problem with ourselves. That you may do what is Righteous, honorable, let us be seen as reprobate. I don't care. People can look down on me and press me aside. But the thing that I said, you have to do it and do it right. For we cannot do anything against the truth, but only for the truth. When this is my last two weeks, new discovery. Put it in your head. This is very important. When it come to the Bible, okay, we have to do what's said in the Bible. And by the grace of God, people here, if they stay here long enough, they will see this John Chen, this guy, handle things according to what's said in the Bible. As I said many times, this is not proud. This is not haughty. Nothing to do about humble or not humble. I'm always about the truth. Okay? No. God make it possible for me that I'm able to handle and present, deliver the truth the way I found. And I'm very grateful to God. That's why I say by the grace of God, I'm able to do this in a time like this. We handle the truth, make sure the truth will be practiced. That is our job. Okay? We don't care whoever say whatever or how they see us. Our job is to make sure the truth be practiced by the grace of God. Today, I can make it clear in English and slow. The word again means lighten the level of doing or simply not do. Some people may rebel to this point. Father, help me to do this. And he said, I will not. Long time ago, especially in the Old Testament time, especially 1,500 years time before, 1,500 years ago, any children do that will be stoned to death. The punishment is D-E-A-T-H. You know what D-E-A-T-H means? Death. You look up the Old Testament. Disobey parents. Punishable, punishable is body death. Kill. 
okay? By stoning, this is you go see, see the rest of the Old Testament. The word again means right turn the level or do it or simply not do. You can find from here. The word evil in the original text also used in these verses. I wonder how did I got this idea for those here for a long time and I, I appreciate know that all this year how I found things like this. I'm very grateful to God and it's a blessing to you. I hope that all of us appreciate this. He said, why? What evil had he done? The word evil, same word. Same original text, Greek word. What evil had he done? In the court, when Pilate <coughs> had to do the judgment, make Jesus, the Jews, make Jesus on trial, in his court, and this word was used right there. This is Matthew 27, 23. They cried out exceedingly, let him be crucified. Remember what? The question was, what, have, what evil had he done? What evil had he done? What was their response? Crucify him. What kind of answer is it? Crucify him. What kind? Of, what evil did he done? And the answer is what? Crucify him. You see, religious people are that kind of logic. They don't talk about reason. They don't give the why. They say, keep on shouting, crucify, crucify. These are the kind of religious people. Okay, I'm talking about what says in the Bible, by the grace of God. And Mark 15, 14, Pilate said unto them, Why? What evil had he done? Same word. What evil had he done? Matthew, Mark. What evil he did done? But they cried out exceedingly, crucify him. These people does not talk about e uh, reason. They are very unreason. They just keep shouting, crucify him, crucify him. Hey Moses, all Gordon, if I were a pilot, you know what I would do this? I secretly get someone to get his their father, one of their father here, and show him what did he do? Crucify him. Okay, out, chop your his head. You see? Because they keep shouting, crucify, kill your head. How about this? Crucify. You see? They will shout that. They chop off his head. These people. Okay. They lucky. Pilate was there. If John Chen were there, their father maybe get beheaded. These people are so so wicked, you know. They see the shout, crucify him. Pilate keep talking about what evil had he done? <laughs> Tell me what evil had he done? Now the point is we try to get the word evil. What the word evil means? Three times. The third time. Wonderful. By the grace of God. Hey, God, I don't know why I found this thing. The third time. He said unto them, the third time, Why? What evil had this man done? Three times. The three times crucified him. And he said, I found no cause of death in him. I will therefore chase him and release him. I will set him free. 
spare him a little bit. Because what evil had he done? I investigated and I found no cause of death in him. Now, the above verses were in Pilate's court. Use this verse and use. We can do nothing against the truth. <clears throat> okay? But everything for the truth, <clears throat> we can do, okay? Therefore, this evil is about unlawful action, unlawful act. Pilate is talking about what law of the Roman Empire in this country or all many countries sometimes people <coughs> dislike or disagree the child judge try a case or punish someone declare the penalty they will protest and many times the judge say this if you want me especially the Supreme Court in America if you ask the judges in the Supreme Court we have nine of them they always say this especially a new one Amy Connie Barrett hey I still remember her name wonderful is Amy Connie Amy Barrett when he was on when she was on trial try to be approved to become a Supreme Court judge they keep asking her lots of tricky questions he, she always answer one thing I will do judgment according to the Constitution of America I will do the judgment according to the Constitution of America in the original text original meaning I love that so much that's why I like this to be called judge very much in my 50 some years in America she's the only one always insists one thing I will try every case I will do judgment every case according to the constitutional in its original meaning because this is my dedication to find the original intended meaning and deliver to my hero or anyone that's why I appreciate it so much when people try to blame the judge at best right now happening I was very surprised a black Supreme Court his name is Thomas right he was very conservative and right now for a case people <coughs> shout in front of his house and government may need to send police to protect his family okay people demonstrate shout against him in front of his house <coughs> this is his defense we as judge we have to do things according to the constitution was written if you don't like it you have to change the law we as judge can only try and make decision according to what says in the law 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 okay very important we have to do judgment according to the law that's what you see over here that word you can do no evil you cannot do what is evil it means what? cannot do anything 
disobey the law or the ordinance among people, institute among people. That's why, as I said, by the grace of God, how did I find this? Sometimes I wonder myself. Therefore, this evil is about unlawful act. Did not obey ordinance of man. <clears throat> this world, and this is wonderful, you know, this world also used in 1 Peter chapter 3, 10 to, 11, 10 to uh, 12. 1 Peter 3, 10 to 12. 1 Peter chapter 3 is about what? <coughs> about living in peace and joy working. Everybody having a good time. But nowadays, we especially us, as people who are trying to practice what's said in the Bible, Lots of you take advantage of it. Okay? People do that to every one of you. Right now, one of our brothers working in somewhere, I don't want to tell you. People piled up things for him to do. I don't know, maybe, maybe David is suffering something like this now. David has been working there for two or three years. People are trying to find a way. David is so nice. We can give, let him do some more, 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 okay? Do me a favor, do me a favor. Grace has a lot of this. My, my youngest daughter, okay? People, people say, I have a family. I have a children. I need to go now. Grace, please finish it up for me. Okay? People may do that to you. I get it too. Everybody get it. Then what we do? How can we be happy? You're the fire away. <clears throat> God will help you to get through it. So don't worry. I got through it. I'm 83 now. Moses, be happy. <laughs> okay? <clears throat> you got water right next to you. That's enough to be happy. <clears throat> <clears throat> the world also used here. It's about happy life and happy at work. <coughs> he that will love life, see that? And see good days, see? Let him refrain his tongue from evil. That word right here. His tongue from evil, that said word. His lips that they speak no <coughs> lies. That's what that means. And let him turn away evil. Wow. Turn away from evil, so we have for. And do good. Let him seek peace and pursue it. He will do put up effort, time, energy to make it happen. For the eyes of the Lord are upon the word. This I love this word. Righteous, righteous, righteous. All my life. Now sometimes you young people. Especially David and Titus, you want to be careful. Sometimes people may say something against John Chen in my back before in front of you. Do you know this John Chen very seldom say love, 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 love? He always righteous, righteous, righteous. Does he know what love means? You watch out. Let me tell you. In 1 Timothy and 2 Timothy, 1 Timothy is 4.11, somewhere. <clears throat> Righteous, always first item. Faithfulness, then love. The best love can line up is number three. I think in 2 Timothy, Two, two, two. That was easy to remember. Second Timothy chapter two twenty two. Righteous come up first. Faithful. Then love. I take godliness before that. Why love? Why righteous? Faithfulness and godliness light up before love. You know why? 
people don't want to know. They just, I can make up, you love me, because you're my mother. Cindy, have you said that before? You give birth to me, you should love me. I can mess up, you still have to love me. You see? They don't talk about reason. They talk about don't talk about righteousness. They don't talk about faithfulness. They wanna love, 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 you love, love, love. But how about you? See? Righteousness. If you don't have, if you do not have righteousness, you always talk about love. Let me tell you. Don't have children. If you have children, and you talk about love over before righteousness. Let me tell you, your child will grow up, run away from school, skip school, and you don't even know it. Your child will grow up to smoke, drop. Your child will grow up to do you have this opioid? I forgot that word. Okay. They will do all kinds of they don't think it's evil thing behind your back. You don't even know that. If you love, 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 that's what you get. I see it. I have seen it. Children grow up on the street, become nothing. Watch out, okay? The word righteous. For the eyes of the Lord, L-O-R-D, upon the righteous and ear unto their prayer. Here it says supplication. Prayer is much easier. But the face of the Lord is upon that do evil. The word evil. That's how I make a connection. That evil we will never do means what? The law among the nations. Mm -hmm. Ordinance of men. Mm -hmm. Peace in life depends on being subject yourself to all every ordinance of men. Subject you should have it to yourself to every ordinance instituted among men. In New York, I think New York City have the most troublesome one because New York City has what? Federal government law, state law, city law. And you are in the church, the law of God, Okay? You have to do things according to the law. That's what that means. If you don't do things according to the law, that's evil. That's what that means. It's in the court, use that word. It's in living happily, working happily, obey the law of the company. Everybody happy. If you try to take advantage of your co-worker, it's not fair. Make you and him not happy. Once in a while, doing a favor, no problem. But you pile up more and more and more. Everybody in trouble. Okay? You cannot work happily. You cannot live happily. Everybody in trouble. And that is the truth. So peace in life depends on being subject to every ordinance institute among men. Be subject to every order of, of men for the Lord's sake. Okay? You like it or you not like it, you have to do it. That's what it says. Let every soul be in subjection to the higher power, for there is no power but of God. Therefore, he that resists the power withstand the ordinance of God, and they that withstand shall receive to themselves judgment. You know what the judgment means? Actually, I don't know why they, they use the word judgment. It should be punishment. 
This word over here is punishment. Reality. Where can you find a, co a no corruption nation? A very big surprise for me. To me. Google search. I found 10 most corrupted nations. This morning when I said that, I said, I'm surprised China is not one. Of course not. <laughs> Some people laugh. China is not one of them. 10 most corrupted nations. I was very surprised. Haiti. Haiti had nothing. Most of you have been uh, Puerto Rico, right? Next one is Haiti, right? The same, same island. One part is the other, other country. Okay? Haiti is very poor. I wonder what what they can what they can grow. See, I wonder. They're so poor. They have nothing. How do I do they do? How can they do that? And Somalia, if in uh, Africa, Somalia, what? Right, they're famous in producing pilot, a uh, pirate, okay? See, they're pirates, rob everybody, okay? And they, the government corrupted, wow, I wonder. And India is a big surprise to me. You know, in America, a lot of top class scientists is Indian people. You know that one? You know? Okay. Indian. They take about 40% top scientists is Indian. But in Indian nation, in their local nation, lots of uneducated people, lots of very, very poor people. Then I wonder, what can they corrupt? And I have seen report. Reporter can just take video. You know, they use their, their iPhone and radio and broadcast. And it's a checkpoint. The police checkpoint, stop like one person, give him some money. <laughs> okay, you go, not need to check. Hey, they let that be known to the world, even I can see. Their video, news report, people get caught up like that. India. <clears throat> okay, here, they're about to say it away. Now, what I'm going to wonder is, they have over 1,300 million live in India. How do they live? I don't know. How do they live? One more than 1.3 billion. More than 1.3 billion people live in India. A most corrupted country. How do those people live? You see? We don't know. I don't know. But they are living. They are living their life. And still some happily. My point is, you have to find a way. Like one time when I was in China, I have a feeling. So I asked them around me, inside the church, okay? Inside the church building. I said, if you live a life like this, how can you live? I don't say that I can live here. If this is how you live, you know, they say, John, so we all die. <laughs> what can we do? We have to find a way to live. Understand, Joy? Cindy, understand? It's bad, but we have to find a way to live. So, by the blessing of God, we're here in New York. Not that bad. Okay? You must pray to God that you live in peace without bribery. People, some people here in the city cannot do that also. 
but by the grace of God. I'm blessed. I'm very grateful to God. I don't have to live a life every month, every week, give bribery. Okay? But in some case, in many places, Southern America infested lots of gangs. You see, lots of gangs. How did they live? They live. And we are grateful to God and be thankful to God. Now, conclusion. Wherever you live, God's will is you submit yourself to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake. Live in peace, walk in joyfulness. Get a final way and be blessed by the way of God. Long Island were once infested large young gangs. They killed so many young people, threw their dead body in the jungle. Luckily, there was official not afraid of gangs. You have arrested, put them in jail, wipe them out. Now, large of part, big part of Long Island can live in peace without being afraid their children get arrested, killed, and throw their body into the jungle. You guys are normally lucky. You, you know this thing, right? At one time, especially... Okay, <coughs> all men obey men's law. All may live in peace and have joy in working. So the Bible teaches man must obey man's ordinance institute, instituted among men. And this is message for all of us. And by the grace of God, I'm blessed to have the message and deliver to you. Just be careful. We can do nothing. Okay? <clears throat> against the truth. We can do no evil against the truth. We have to do, make sure the truth get practiced. Then we are all live in peace. May the Lord bless each one of us. Let's say a 